Hello darlings, welcome to Tammy and Bert's Utopia. Another week's gone, can you believe it? Honestly, oh my gosh, you're looking so well out there. Hello darlings, it's so good to see you. I'm up to 40 subscribers, I'm over the moon. I can't believe my luck. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Now I'm following on this week, after last week's, I had a lot of questions about how do you get a letter from the palace? Well, sweethearts, it's not rocket science, science to do it. You can do it. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to do it and do what I did and get lots of mail from the palace. It makes me so happy. I mean, they do a wonderful job, our royals, and we're so lucky to have them because, I mean, in another 50 years, who knows what's to happen. But right now, right now we have them and we have to use that and embrace that. Isn't it wonderful to see Her Majesty has bought a golf buggy? I'm so happy for her. She can get out and about with those corgis again and they can pop on when they want to when they've had enough trotting beside her. And it's just wonderful to see. See, that's it. You have to stay happy. And she knows getting out in the fresh air makes her happy. And if she can't walk, she'll be unhappy. So she's got her own little golf buggy to trot along in now. Go, 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 our beautiful queen. 75 years, can you believe it? Absolutely fantastic. How I love the royal family. So do stay and watch because at the end I'll tell you how to do it. So this week, it's been a lovely week. My brother-in-law's been, he's been for tea. And well, actually for lunch on Sunday, we had a beautiful roast and it was wonderful to sit there and have a talk with Alan and catch up and over a hot meal. I mean, and then just have a nice coffee afterwards and a dinner mint and just relax and chill in each other's company with Bert, of course, as well. And it was just wonderful. It felt so lovely to have him here. So very happy about that. Love you, Al. Yes, I was saying Thursday, after our walk around the Bonshaw Lake, Lucy started coughing. Oh, and she coughed and she barked and she hacked all night. Bert and I were up with her. We couldn't work out what to do. We just trying to make her comfortable. You know, Bert carried her outside for her to do pities and then to the water bowl if she needed a drink for her little throat and there was nothing we could do. So the next day we rang the vet and we got in straight away because it's not a good sign to have a dog coughing. I don't know if you know, but it can lead to heart, let you know that there's heart problems. So anyway, we took her to the vet and he listened to her heart and everything. No, that was all good. So he gave her a steroid injection and sent us home with a little bottle of steroids and she's on day four now, I think, of the steroids. So she's down to a half a tablet. And the barking and the coughing stopped. Thank heavens, because as you know, if you've watched any of my, chat and my videos, our puppy dogs are like babies to us. We absolutely love them. They give me something to baby like I baby my children. So <laughs> I baby the puppy dogs. And anyway, she's really good now. She's 100% again, much better, back to her old self. So that's wonderful. But I didn't get to the mushroom farm with my dear friend Anna Marie. And don't you hate letting a good friend down? Oh boy, I felt bad. But she's so lovely because I was so sad about Lucy. She came around and she said, Tammy, I've got something for you. And look what she had. Tulip bulbs. Tulip bulbs. She knows me so well. Beautiful little card with it. Look at this. Beautiful little card. I love her cards. Anna Marie makes cards, so she's super clever because Tammy can't make a card. The best thing that Tammy can do to a card is put a little bit of nail polish glitter in the highlighting parts. And that, that's my take on it. That's what I do. But they're magnificent and I can't wait to put them in the freezer. Oh no, actually in the fridge in the crisper. And they'll stay in there till Mother's Day and then we'll plant them out. But then, along with it came the book, so I know exactly how deep to go. So what do you do with a friend like that? Honestly, how do I pay her back? She's not a gardener, so how do, what do you do to make her happy? I don't know, I have to think of something. She's so special to me. Because whenever I'm down and out, and I've had some pretty down and out times, I'll tell you, Anna Marie, she'll call and she'll just pull me right out of it. She's just wonderful. She's a true friend, so that's wonderful. Yes, yeah, so and then Bert's been putting a gate on the courtyard because it's been getting windy through there and we've wanted to do it for a while and we have the gate that used to be on the front fence but as you know Bert made it higher because during COVID Lucy drove us mad with her barking. 
she would not stop barking every time anybody walked past. And we all know we had to walk, didn't we? The only way we could get out of the house was walking around the block and everybody did it. And so Bert made the fence really high, but we had the gate left. And I said to him, I said, darling, oh darling, I'm sure that you could use that gate on the courtyard. It would stop the wind, the wind tunnel. So he's got it up higher so Lucy can run underneath it and Millie can run underneath it. And he's putting that on, but it's not finished at the moment because he's in the middle of a busy week and um, he'll be finished when he gets time. So that's what he's been doing. Me, I've been pottering in my garden because my garden makes me happy. And what's not to make you happy? I've been hanging out with my me Mia cat out the front. I knitted him a new beret and a new scarf for winter because he was looking a bit drab from last winter. So I made those for him and Bert, Bert used um, silicon or something to put them on because he does all the fiddly bits and put that on so that's good. And so yes, pottering in the garden makes me happy and you have to do things that make you happy, don't, don't you? I've also learned to meditate. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. The Happy Life channel is where I've learned and if you type them in, because I don't know how to share a link, if you type in the Happy Life channel, they should come up and it's Jose and Ariana and they're amazing and I'm meditating for five minutes. Me, who couldn't keep her mind straight and thinking on one thing for one minute is doing it for five minutes. Thanks to them. So do check them out, they're wonderful. So every morning I have a cup of tea with my breakfast and then I have a look at my oracle cards for the day, my angel oracle cards. Do you like angel oracle cards? I love them. Absolutely love them. Where are they? I'll just go and put them back again with my angel cards. So here they are. Here's the box. And I've had these ones since 2016 because I had a lovely set that my brother brought me years ago. But spilled coffee all over them and I had to get rid of them because they just stuck together and peeled off. So that was a bit of a blow. And they have a little booklet with them that tells you all the meanings. And mind you, they're lovely meanings. You know, they're, they're lovely. So every day I have a cup of tea with my breakfast and I, I shuffle the cards and I pull out a card and that gives me an idea of what I'm in for today. And today I have one on teaching and leadership and Simone popped around. Now you know how happy I am whenever I see any of the kids and to see Simmy so early in the morning with Tash, I just loved it. So she was here and she had a cup of tea with me and she was showing me how to put my videos into orders, into playlists. So I'm going to be having a go at doing that so you might see some changes. I'm also thinking of changing the name of my channel. So um, Simone suggested it and she seems to be right on top of these things. So I might be changing it to Tammy in Tiaras because you know I love tiaras. I just love tiaras. Bert said I can buy another one this fortnight. So how lucky am I? So I've got something to look forward to in the post. So I feel extremely blessed about that and looking forward to getting one and I haven't even ordered it yet so that's wonderful. So it's been a great week and I hope you've had a great week because I mean you have to stay happy and stay contented with whatever you're doing and find what you want to do and just enjoy every moment. Even going shopping is fun because you never know who you'll run into and chatter and have a chat with. Oh, I meet the coolest people when I shop. I usually shop mostly at Aldi. I like the products at Aldi, I like the German stuff, oh it's good German stuff. So um, yeah, so I'm off to do some shopping a little bit later with Bert and when he gets back, he's at the doctor at the moment, he had some wrist surgery and he's having a, a talk to the doctor about it, he had it nearly 12 months ago. So he's back for his one year checkup to see how it's all going and healing, so that's really good. So I'm going to tell you now how to get a letter from Buckingham Palace. So darlings, if you want to get a letter from the palace, you have to write to them. You have to write to them. That's all you have to do. Go onto Google, type in write to the Royal Palace and the addresses will come right up. And before you know it, you will get mail from the palace like I have over the years. And they're a lovely thing to look at and to think back of those days. I usually only write to Catherine and William and Her Majesty the Queen. But I'm going to pull my finger out right to Charles and Camilla because I've been a bit lax there. I just haven't 
haven't done that yet. So I'm going to write to them. I don't write to Harry and Meghan because they're over in America now and I don't really feel that they're royal anymore. Um, so that's, that's all you have to do. So I'll leave a photo of the address that you can write to because I can do that. I'm not sure how to share links. But you can do that and you can type it up and you can look it up and you can write your own letter to the palace. And before you know it, you'll have a handful like I've got. See, you can do it. Now I'm going to wish you a wonderful week. Be safe, keep your tiara straight, and be happy. Most of all, be happy. You have to be happy with whatever you're doing. See the joy in everyday things. That's what I say. So God bless, thanks for watching, and please like, share, subscribe. Bye for now. Perfect, sweet pea, perfect. Bit of a hole here though. No, that's the getaway hole, isn't it? And enough room for Lucy and Millie to walk under. Gotta get a big tape. <laughs>